In just a few short weeks on August 10th, Oaks Park in Niagara Falls will once again play host to Heaters Heroes Run for Children, where 100% of the proceeds will go to local kids in need. And we have uh, 10 children from the Niagara region, Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, uh, Fort Erie and Port Coburn. So, you know, it's just not Niagara Falls, it's uh, everywhere in this, in this region. And so it's going to be a great, uh, great event. And that's the day event when uh, each child is going to basically walk around uh, this uh, quarter length track, quarter mile track at uh, Oaks Park area. And then to add to it this year, we have a nighttime event. It's the first concert in Oaks Park ever. The event was launched to honor Mike's mentor, Bob Laval, who passed away from cancer in 2009. Heaters Heroes has since taken further inspiration from others who have also faced a battle with the disease. There was a special girl and from the first year I met this girl, Kelsey Hill, and she was kind of uh, my inspiration to her doing the box run. And uh, it's kind of weird because it's just coincidental from her and she passed away um, in, in December of uh, 2011 and then doing the run I met a boy Matteo Mancini who was going through the same cancer as Terry Fox so I had two kids who was my inspiration doing the box run and Matteo passed away in, in May of uh, this year and through that run I met this special guy Nick Roma who uh, has uh, acute leukemia and uh, you know what an inspiration he's been to everybody all over Canada and uh, to especially children going through uh, leukemia and other cancers. The last lap of this year's run is reserved for Nick who will take time out of his ongoing cancer treatment to walk the quarter mile. Mike asked my mom and I heard about it last year with Mateo while I was going through my first session of chemotherapy when Mike was doing the run and when it actually happened last year I was in the hospital and then this year, they, Mike wanted me in it, and I was surprised because there's no, I thought there would be no way I could walk 400 meters on a track, but yeah, surprising and exciting. You know, the last year, people have raised a lot of money for, for Nick and supporting Nick and, you know, getting his prosthetics, and this is a chance for them to find out the result of all this money and hard work that everyone around this community has done and they get to actually walk, walk with them or cheer them on around that whole uh, lap and you know watch them walk through that final ribbon and look man it's going to be it's going to be great for, for for himself for children his family and for the whole community when Nick finishes the final lap, a celebration will follow in the baseball park where entertainment director Nathan that. Warner explains what's in store. It's a great cause. I'm more than happy to help out. So I uh, gathered up some of Niagara's uh, best local musicians and um, booked them in for the evening, which is, uh, starts at 5 p.m. On the, on the baseball diamond here. And who are some of those local talents? Well. We got uh, kicking off, I think, I, mean, I don't know the particular order quite yet, but uh, here's the list. Um, we got the Black Flies are playing, Phantom 309, uh, Barbudos, wh which I actually play in. Um, we have the Roxwells, Serena Prine, and the Mandevilles. And I think there's a couple more being added, but it's just, uh, we're waiting to see so far. But that's what we have so far. And beyond the music, what else is going to be going on here during the evening hours? Well, it's going to be one big party. We're going to have the stage built up. We're going to have uh, Labatt Blues coming in, selling beer. I think there's a couple wineries coming in as well. As well as we have a few food trucks. We have Tide and Vine Oyster Company, and we have El Gastronomo Vegabundo coming in. So it'll be good, really good food, beer, wine, and music. Come out August 10th to cheer on the heroes, and then let's fill these bleachers for the nighttime concert. Tickets are available at heatersheroes.ca, the Highland Tap, or of course at Oaks Park on the day of the event. Reporting for The Source in Niagara Falls, I'm Amy Adverts.